Hello and welcome to this episode of Tech Talk, where we'll be going over the ST16 and showing you all the functions and switches of your transmitter that comes with the Typhoon H. On the left side of the transmitter, we have the first switch. This is our tilt function switch. In the up position or the normal position, we use the slider that's underneath. Anytime we move this slider just a little bit, the camera will follow. If we move it halfway, it'll typically go to about 45 degrees. All the way down is 90 degrees down. The second mode on this switch, which is all the way down, is what we call velocity mode. In the center, the camera will not move at all. Anytime we move it off center, it'll move at a speed controlled rate. So the further we move it down, the faster the camera will move. If we center it, the camera will not move at all. One of the advantages of velocity mode is we get actually 15 degrees up on our camera. The second switch from the left is our pan mode switch. In the very top position, it is a considered nose follow. So anytime the camera or the aircraft moves, the camera will follow the nose. This is best used for single pilot operations. The second position on the pan mode switch is pan lock mode. This allows us to use the pan control to position the camera any way we want. If we center it, the pan will lock in and move accordingly with the nose. Our final mode is global lock. This allows us to control the pan with the pan control knob. And when we center, the camera locks in its position independently from the aircraft. On the right side of the transmitter, we'll notice an auxiliary button. This is currently not used at this time. The switch next to it is our obstacle avoidance switch. This is a three position switch, however only two positions work. All the way at the top will be off, middle is also off, and all the way down will be on. The final switch is our mode control switch. At the very top is smart mode, middle will be angle mode, and the very bottom will be return to home. On the face of the transmitter we'll see two directional pads as well as two physical buttons for our camera controls. The left side button will allow you to take stills with your camera. The right side button will allow you to start and stop video recording. The left directional pad will allow you to change exposure values and white balance. On the right side, the D-pad will control the trim functions. Your left side gimbal stick controls your altitude and your yaw or spin direction. On the right side is our lateral movement. On the top of the transmitter, you'll notice a red start-stop button. When held for three seconds, this will start or stop your rotors. On the right side, we have our landing gear retract switch. On the top of the transmitter, we'll see two 2.4 gigahertz transmitting antennas. In the center is our 5.8 gigahertz Wi-Fi antenna. We'll notice this is a patch antenna to give us better range. On the top, you'll also notice an HDMI out. This allows us to broadcast our video straight from the camera to an external monitor. On the left side of the transmitter, we have a camera tilt slider. This allows us to tilt our cameras from straight down to straight forward. On the right side, we have our turtle rabbit slider. This allows us to change the speed and the reaction time to our flight controls. In rabbit mode, it allows all the flight aspects to be faster, including altitude changes and lateral movements. In turtle mode, it slows everything down, including our altitude changes, our yaw movements, as well as our lateral movements. Thank you for watching this tutorial video and an overview of the ST16.